Well, welcome back to part 10 on these two XL 250s. I haven't really been able to get anything done as the weather's been that bad in the UK. The winds, as you can see from where I am, I haven't been able to open the garage up because of the winds and the rain. It's been pretty rough in the UK, as you can see by this tree that just missed my boat. So hopefully today we'll be able to go up the garage and get some stuff done. But yeah, rough times. Anyway, it only just missed me. So let's get up the garage and get some work done. As you can see, I'm quite lucky that never landed on my boat. There's a big old tree, very close, close call. Ain't left much of the canal open, but I'm sure they'll sort that out at some point. As I said, let's go up the garage. There's a first, waterways. I think they're here to do it. I can't see it myself. We'll have to wait and see. Try and clear the canal. Well, I suppose I'm really lucky that the boat that does this sort of work was only moored the other side of the bridge. So, we might get some progress today on this. I'll let you know how we get on. I know it's not a bike video, but it might be a bit interesting for some of you. Well, here we go. I started the work. Not an easy job when you're working off a boat. You can see the wind's blowing heavily against it. Right. I'm get on with it for a bit. Well, I've left them to it, and oh yeah, there's my number plate I made. Uh, just to do a little bit on Tom's bike because we got no front brake switch in there to uh, make the back light light up it's actually broken a little bit in there anyway we've got a new one a brand new one here so we'll get that on to start with and I think today because I've been up here for a for a week and a half we could do with a bit of a tidy up so we can carry on with the two XLs Right then, let's get this new switch in and get some videoing done. Okay, these bright light switches, they actually come out that way. That way, they just push out. Because I know when I first tried to do one, I wasn't sure how they come out. But yeah, they just push out. So we'll have the headlight out so we can trace the wiring down into there and put the new one in. Oh, let me get the headlight out. Right then, we put new levers on as well, new brake switch, both two new levers, because they had these on these dog leg things, and I wasn't very comfortable Tom reckoned to ride with. Brake light switch is a black wire and a green with a yellow stripe in the headlight. That's what you need to plug into from this. Just slip the ignition on, Tom, and try the light now. Off. On. On. Off. Oh, that's working. Right then, we're going to give it a try. Right, I know this video's a bit all over the place at the minute, but there's nothing you can do when the weather's against you thing we've been messing around with what you haven't seen is when we put Tommy's bike on the road the next day we come out to it is original NX and we lost all the electrics on it 
so I've been messing with that. A little tip, if you're going to sell a bike or take it off the road, don't let it know because it'll mess you around like you wouldn't believe. It turned out that the main power feed to the bike actually broke up by the underneath the tank which took me two days to find so just remember don't let your bike know what's going on if you're putting another one or putting another one on the road because it will definitely bite you in the ass right we'll try and get back to the two XLs really soon uh, I'm going to get the tank off and we'll get down bills and we'll get down bills and we'll have a laugh messing around with that so that's something to look forward to because me and Bill always have a laugh when we're together right then let's get on with something else another thing we've had DVLA out and I did manage to actually film it so you'll see that in this video basically all they do is just check your bike over take loads of photos as you'll see we're just waiting for the logbook for that one now the other one we've got the logbook for happy days so we're, hopefully in the next couple of days I should get it he said maybe a week so then I'm going to insure both of them I'm going to rape them to bits so what do you reckon to my own made number plate there you go I think that looks more in keeping with the bike ended up using some vinyl this is vinyl and some vinyl letters that I got the wife to cut me out I think that looks pretty good saved a few quid and I'll make two for the other XLs right, Tommy's bike's done now everything we needed to do to that this arrived the other day I'd like to give Nathan a real big shout out is a star he sent me this the clock on the xl 100 the 1975 one the glass is cracked and all glazed over he reached out to me and asked me if i wanted this which is the exact same clock that's on it that will finish the bike off that is spot on thank you so much nathan right then we're waiting for the man from dvla to come out just warming it up up there and um, should be here in the next 10 minutes he reckons and we'll see what happens see if we get the logbook issued right the man from DVLA is here to do the inspection so we'll watch him get on with it the yeah do you want to show him the engine number is it that side is that it there, across the top? Yeah, that's the one, across the top. Right number. Oh. Right, it's blocked the other bloke's drive, so... Just gonna roll back a little bit. Right, all he's doing now at the minute is just taking pictures of the bike. Took a picture of the in engine number. Have you got is it got the registration for it or is it? No, what that's what we're going for. Can you hear it running? Uh, yes, you can do. Okay, Tom, Tom will have to start it. All original suspension. Everything's original. So you never had an inspection before, so and I register a lot of bikes, so okay. so it's interesting for me to see what's going on. So basically we're just checking the chassis number, the engine number, and we're just reporting back to the DVLA, yeah. um, just making sure everything's original on the bike. Yeah. If any changes, we just have to report it back to them. Yeah, no, it's all original. Not 
much that the clock's not original because there was no clock on it when it actually comes. So that's a, another that's one I bought. That's fine. I just yeah. have to make a note of the mileage when I report it back to you. Yeah. Um, original one was broken on it. But I'll put the original. I'm not sure if I put the original mileage that was on it on the form. But you still got the original. Yeah, I stripped it down trying to repair it because... Okay. Does it still show the mileage on it? <sighs> I might have a photo if that helps. Yeah, yeah, that's good. I'm not sure. Alright, yeah, we'll sort that out in a second. Alright, okay. I was going to grab a pen and make a note of the, the engine number and the uh, VIN modes on there because uh, mm. they don't always show up clearly on images. Yep. And then uh, that's everything, really. Okay, that's lovely, cool.